plume of Saharan dust is rolling through South Florida. And it really is impacting our air quality. A local 10's Christina Vasquez is joining us live in Miami with what health experts are saying. And I know, as we've talked about, lots of folks I know with allergies, including me, we are all affected. You have that exactly right. And it's so interesting, right? Because when you walk outside, this being the thick of summer, you can still feel the air around you, right? That humidity makes it for that palpable moisture. But scientists say a mile up ahead, overhead, there is a layer of that dry dust. And in part, that's what's causing some beautiful sunsets, but also, as you said, Christy, those health issues with those who suffer from respiratory issues. Look how hazy it is. Like clockwork. They start coming off in June, and we're at the peak right now. It is here. This faint color spread out across the tropical Atlantic, and it may be a little difficult to see because of the clouds, but that color uh, depicts where we have Saharan dust in the atmosphere. We're kind of in that fast and furious time for these dust outbreaks. When plumes of Sahara dust drift across the Atlantic Ocean to South Florida. The dust is a very good forward scatterer, so light that's coming at the viewers hits that dust and gets scattered in all directions. It is what can generate beautiful sunrises and sunsets. There's also very strong winds that can rip the clouds apart. And then there's also a lot of dust that absorbs the sun and makes it warm. And, and all of these things can work against cloud formation and even hurricanes. Can inhibit the formation of thunderstorms that fuel hurricanes. So it's kind of the worst of both worlds as far as South Florida weather. You have still very soupy and hot at the surface, and you don't get those nice thunderstorms in the afternoon that tend to form over places like the Everglades that can cool off the afternoon temperature and create an air quality health risk, especially for those who suffer from asthma and allergies. Just like uh, pollen season or certain uh, seasons where patients are affected by the temperature changes or the humidity changes, this is sort of its own season now, especially for asthma and for patients with COPD. Make sure the medications are up to date, make sure they have a safety plan, make sure that your inhalers, if you're on inhalers, are ready and not expired. And he also said that's great advice for parents who may have children who suffer from asthma or allergies and are currently enrolled in outdoor summer camps. Scientists say that this season ramps down about mid-August. So hang in there. Reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News. Great.